and welcome to our family worship online video for today. My name is Kat and it's great that you've joined us. So far this term we've been looking at what happened right after Jesus' death and resurrection. We've looked at the mission that the disciples were given to go and tell um, Jesus and, and what happened with Jesus to everyone in every country in the world. We've looked at the first churches that started to meet together and what they did and what that looked like. We've looked at Stephen and how passionate and holy he was, but also the awful opposition that he came up against. Today, we're looking at another one of the apostles called Philip and his role in helping to share the good news about Jesus to other countries, as well as the importance of baptism. So we're going to sing praise to God in a moment, but first for a little scavenger hunt. Can you go and get something that represents something that you don't understand? It might be a book or an object, but something that you don't understand that makes no sense to you. Go and get it and then come back and be ready to sing. Philip was one of the apostles in the early church. One day an angel of the Lord spoke to him, saying, Get ready and go south. Go to the road that leads down to Gaza from Jerusalem, the desert road. So Philip got ready and went. On the road he saw a man from Ethiopia who was an important officer in the service of the Queen. He'd gone to Jerusalem to worship and was on his way home, reading from the book of Isaiah. The Spirit said to Philip, Go to that chariot and stay near it. So Philip ran to the chariot and asked the man if he understood what he was reading. The man answered, how can I? I need someone to explain it to me. And he invited Philip to climb in and sit with him. Philip began to explain what it all meant, starting with the same scripture and telling the man the good news about Jesus. When they came to some water, the officer said, look, 
What's stopping me from being baptised? Philip answered, If you believe with all your heart, you can. And the officer said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So Philip baptised him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit took Philip away. The officer never saw him again and continued on his way full of joy. But Philip appeared in a city called Azotus and preached the good news in all the towns on the way from Azotus to Caesarea. So there are two really important things for us to understand about this story today. The first is about understanding who Jesus is and the second is about baptism. Let's look at the first one. To think about this, we need to think about the man who was in the chariot and how he came to understand who Jesus was. Pick up that thing that you found in the scavenger hunt earlier on that represents something that you really don't understand or would like to know more about. How do you feel when you don't understand something? It can sometimes make us feel confused or perhaps overwhelmed or even worried. This is a bit like the man in the chariot that God led Philip to. He was reading the scriptures, which is what we normally call the Old Testament, and he just didn't understand it. So it was perfect that Philip was there to help him understand and to explain to him the Old Testament. But more than that, Philip went on to tell him about Jesus as well. Jesus and the good news of the gospel. And at that point, it was almost like the man had an ah moment. He really seemed to understand everything that Philip had explained to him. And suddenly everything made sense. He believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Imagine how you would feel if the thing that you really didn't understand suddenly all made sense to you. It would be pretty incredible, wouldn't it? It would be really exciting as well. Sometimes people find that things in the Bible don't always make sense. And if I'm honest, there's lots of things in the Bible that just don't make sense to me either. But that's where we need the Holy Spirit to help us. And it's important that just like the man in the chariot, we ask for help. We ask others at church. Uh, we ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and to help us to understand what the scriptures mean. And that is an incredible thing when we then have an aha moment with the scriptures. The second important thing about the story is about baptism. For the man in the chariot, Baptism was his way of declaring that he understood and accepted faith in Jesus Christ as Philip had explained to him. He wanted to be baptised to show that he was now a follower of Jesus Christ. But there's more to it than just that. John the Baptist, the clue is in his name, who came to prepare people for the coming of Jesus the Messiah, taught people that they should say sorry for the wrong things that they had done and be baptised. Now you might remember this from the family worship video on John the Baptist that we showed before Christmas. Baptism is about being cleansed, being washed clean of all the wrong things that we have ever done. And it's a way for the Holy Spirit to fill us. We know that Jesus never did anything wrong, but when he was baptised, the Holy Spirit came down from heaven to rest on him. So this is a story about the importance of understanding the Bible and taking the time to read it and talk to other people about it so that we can learn more about God, Jesus, God's great plan for the world and the universe and more about who we are and who we were created to be. And then also the importance of baptism to remind us that we are washed clean and forgiven of every wrong thing we could ever say, do or think, and that Jesus has sent the Holy Spirit into the world to be with us, even though he is no longer here. We're going to repeat a prayer activity that we have done before, 
but it really helps to remind us of these two things. You will need a fairly shallow bowl of water, a square of paper and some pens or pencils. Fold the corners of the paper into the middle. This doesn't have to be neat, just make sure that they're not overlapping so that it can open up again. And then you open it up again and write your prayers on it, thinking especially of things that you struggle to understand or ways that you know you need the Holy Spirit to help and guide you. Then decorate it as much as you want to. You can make it look really beautiful. They're a little bit like white paper doves perhaps, which reminds us of the Holy Spirit being like a dove coming down to Jesus at his baptism. Then place the squares into the water and watch as they gradually unfold. God always hears our prayers and is always with us. And now we're going to sing another song to help us remember that. This is the story of the cross The Father loved us all so much That when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very best And he died for all of us This is the story of the cross That we were broken, we were lost so then you build a bridge to us, took our hand, led us across. Oh, I'll never know the cost. If I said thank you a million times, it's not enough. But I'll sing praises for all my life, cause I'm in love. This is the story of the cross 
The Father loved us so, so much That when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very breast And he died for all of us Well, thank you for joining us with this video today. We hope that you've enjoyed it. I just want to share a few things that you might like to do to continue thinking about some of the things we've been talking about today. This slide will come up. The first thing is that we have made a playlist on our YouTube channel of all our Family Worship Online songs. Uh, there's a good selection on there, there's quite a few, even the ones from Christmas. You might like to go and uh, choose some of your favourite ones and spend a bit more time singing praise uh, as a household. And then secondly, there might be something in the Bible or something about Christianity that you don't understand. So why not ask someone who's a Christian or ask if anyone knows anyone who could help you to understand it, could explain it to you. Sometimes talking things through together can really help us to understand. So thank you again. Um, we hope that you have a really great week and we will see you again soon. Bye.